Here's the computer case I want to use for my, what I'm going to call my ultimate Windows 98, Windows XP build. I actually purchased this case in Berlin, Germany in 1994 when I was living there. And I distinctly remembered the big box it came in and I carried it in the big box blocks and blocks and blocks on a couple buses on the subway till I got back to where I was living. And this case was the case at that time as far as I was concerned. So I've taken it apart and the game plan is to paint it. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it satin blossom white with some Rust-Oleum. And the case, of course, has a front and I've taken the buttons out. And uh, these are hot glued in, the LED lights. I'll get those out. I have the majority of the opening covers, which I'll get those painted. The case interior does come with the ability to put in a fan. So I do have an Antec fan in there on Molex. This case is neat. It's got a lot of drive bays, all right, and three and a half and five and a quarter. And also, the nice thing about this case is the motherboard tray actually comes down. So it actually has a motherboard tray that's on a hinge, so you can attach your motherboard, slide it into place, and lock it down. Pretty neat for 1994. Of course, this won't get painted. The top will. We'll put that aside for a second. And then the sides, what I did back in the day was I did cut out some circular openings. I'm missing one bolt, but I can get that for some additional cooling because I was into overclocking back then with the older Celerons. And I do have some that are overclockable. So we have that side of the case. We have this side of the case. We'll get that all painted up, get it all reassembled. And then I have a couple of things that I think are pretty neat. One of which, and I think it's really neat. Let me get these buttons and screws out of there. This is so 1990s tech. This is a five and a quarter inch slot cooling fan assembly. So that'll slide in there. It's on Molex. It's on Molex. And that will cool the case. I'm not 100% if I'm going to use the power supply that I've had in here for years. It's a Vex Trek uh, 300 watt. It's just an old ATX power supply. I wish it had more Molex connectors. I mean, it's not bad, but it's only 300 watts. That should probably be sufficient. I'll probably open it up and double check the capacitors in it just to make sure none of them are crowning. I do plan to use a DVD drive as my CD-ROM DVD media. It's just a bare bones DVD drive. I'll use that, get that painted up. And I may or may not keep this in the build. This is my LS120 drive, my super floppy. Um, it works extraordinarily well, but not every motherboard BIOS recognizes it. I may keep it just for fun and then add an additional three and a, three and a half inch drive. I'm probably going to go with an actual hard drive. I do have this, which is an SD card adapter, micro SD. And I'd been using it, it's great. But if I want to build an actual period correct computer, I think I should go with an actual hard drive. And in that vein, I'm going to test one of the hard drives that I found on my scrapyard video and see how much capacity that has. I may wind up using that in this build. So the idea is now that it's all disassembled, I'll get it painted and we'll see what she looks like. We'll get it looking nice 
and um, then we'll finish the build. We'll go over the rest of the hardware in a bit. The motherboard that I plan to use, the chip, how much memory. I'm still at loggerheads on the video card and the sound card. So that's still a decision to be made. So here we have the completed paint job, just giving it a full 24 hours to dry before I try any reassembly. The individual parts might be a little sticky. All in all, turned out really well. I have to say this, uh, when you compare The difference in the coloration and the age it looks like a brand new computer case so we'll get all those laid out and this is the actual case itself we had to paint the top of it in place and then we'll get some reassembly done on it and then move forward with the hardware picks for this system Right now, I'm leaning towards a Tualatin Celeron chip, something around 1.2 gigahertz, P3 Celeron, Tualatin. Probably half a gig of RAM, and I'm not sure about the video and sound card. Uh, we'll figure that out in good time. I have to say, it's amazing what a coat of paint or two coats will do this is the front of the case and I think it looks marvelous this is the color we originally had sort of the off beige kind of aged color and then we swing into the bright white freshly painted and what I need to do at this point is put the lights back for the power and the hard drive activity and what we're just going to do is these are just on a plastic piece that fits in there and we're just going to hot glue gun that in place Just like this and we'll just use up plenty of plenty of hot glue we'll make sure she's not going anywhere for the time being and that's how it was originally too just glue gun in there As they say, you can never have enough hot glue. And glue snot. We're also going to want to put the uh, buttons back on, the reset button which will snap in there and the power button and they both snap in here and then we'll get the actual switches attached on the other side 
And then we have the front of our chassis put together. We've got the power button, the reset button, and we have everything hot glued into place. And these will be fished through the front of the case when we reattach this. So at this point, These will get fished through the case. Like so. in preparation for reattaching the front of the case to the actual chassis. So then we'll just need to attach a couple of screws Keep the case together, keep the front on the main chassis. that will go on the on the front on the opposite side There we go. It's starting to come together already. I think it actually looks better than it did brand new. Now one of the other things we did was we painted some of the face plates. And we had our fan assembly, our 1990s tech fan assembly, and we painted the face plate. So when it sits in here, it should look terrific. And again, this will sit in the upper chamber here. It's looking pretty good. Nice and clean white. And the idea, what I was wanting to do, was put the have the DVD drive here and then I was able to secure enough of the openings to go ahead and fill the front of the case. I don't think I need more than one media drive. I think that will be sufficient. So I'll go ahead and put those in after we screw in the fan assembly. 
get the fan assembly secured nicely. And we'll see if we can't assemble the DVD drive. So we have the bare drive. And what we did was painted the faceplate, which snaps on the front here. It's already looking better. The DV drive put together, we'll leave on the bottom bay. Closer to the motherboard and closer to the power supply. That's just going to make life a lot easier for things. And what we'll do is, we'll start snapping these into place. I don't know how I managed to keep all four of these over the years, but I did. And they are nice to have. And then I did go ahead and I painted the LS120 here and another floppy drive faceplate. I think it looks a thousand times better than it did before. Again, we've got the three and a half inch floppy, we've got the LS120 super floppy, we've got a DVD drive, we've got four expansion slots, they're covered. We've got the slot fan system, we've got all the buttons and lights hooked back up. We'll put the fan back in the front that we had before. We have some holes there for airflow. And last but not least, we can see how the side panel is going to look. At least get an indication of how everything's going to look together. It's definitely a thousand times better than the white it used to be and the off-white that it had become over the years. So I don't want to force anything into place right now, but we'll have our fan there with our, with our grate for airflow. We can put more fans on the back of this case. But right now, what this case wants, this case wants some hardware in it. And I think I've come to a conclusion as to where I want to go. With this case, with this build specifically, since I want it to be a high, high-end Windows 98 system and a more than fully capable XP system in one, I'm going to go with my tie-in board and a Celeron a Tualatin 120, a uh, 1.2 gigahertz, excuse me. Um, 
at least 256 megs of RAM, probably probably half a gig if everything will work with it. Uh, Windows XP and Windows 98 can ignore the extra memory, um, but at least um, at least 250 megs. And and then I've decided on a, a GeForce 4 Ti4400 video card, which came out the year after that Tualatin and Celeron chip was released. And most likely my Diamond Monster 2 All Real Vortex 2 sound card. So that's what I'm going to do on the next video is to get the hardware put together, test everything, make sure it works, install operating systems, and check out the hard drives. So I thank you for my case restoration adventure. Um, Hopefully it was as fun for you guys as it was for me. Uh, there's just something about restoring something you've owned since, you know, you were 21 and living in another country. So, thanks again, folks.